Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is Capital Investment Decisions, Accounting Rate of Return, or just ARR. So, we have capital budgeting, is the process of making capital investment decisions. And capital investment means acquiring a capital assets. And if we are talking about decisions, we need at least two uh, choices, and then we will have our decisions. So all of our methods, we compare at least two alternatives or two different decisions. And capital investment means acquiring a capital asset or fixed asset. Example, equipment, plant, vehicle, information technology, etc. And we have four methods. So we have four videos. And the other three videos, they are in our video description. Payback period, accounting rate of return, our topic today, net present value and internal rate of return. What is accounting rate of return? Indicates profitability of investment. And here, uh, our uh, title here gives us very useful information. Accounting. So if we are talking about accounting, we are not working with cash flow. We will be working with operating income. Rate of return. We are talking about percentage. It is very uh, similar to payback period. However, payback work with uh, cash flow and in years. We will be working with operating income and percentage. And why they are similar? Because both are for short lifespan investment. Okay? So let's go to our Excel file. And the Excel file is also in our video description. And by the way, this Excel file we have for all of our four methods. Okay? So we have here equipment number one and number two. The numbers are exactly the same as our payback. So if we go to our payback, uh, the equipment number two is better because we have a short payback period. Let's go to accounting rate of return. So the first one, we have the same as the payback. We need the accumulated net cash inflow. So first year, beginning balance, nothing plus First year, second one, beginning balance plus year. And let's do here the same. And what do we have here? Some difference. The first one, our net cash inflow is the same for all of our years. So our operating income will, always, will also be the same. The second end, we have no residual value here. Investment number two, equipment number two, we have different net cash inflows and the residual, and we have residual value. Okay. However, the accumulated net cash inflow is, is the same. Okay, and then how do we do we move from net cash inflow to operating income? If you are an accounting, uh, accounting major student or even business major student. You got the principles of financial accounting. And remember the opposite method to go from operating income to net to cash flow. Operating income plus expenses that are not cash. For instance, depreciation. And then operating income plus Depreciation will be our net cash inflow. So we will be doing the opposite. Operating income equal net cash inflow less depreciation. How do we find depreciation? Investment less residual value divided by useful life, $50,000. And now we have our operating income. How much will be our operating income? Net cash inflow plus, whoa, 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 whoa. Net cash inflow plus depreciation. Or, 
sorry, less depreciation, our operating income is 30. We are talking about rate of return, operating income divided by initial investment. So our accounting rate of return here, it is 7.5% per year. Very high, by the way. The second one, we need to find our depreciation as well. Let's copy and paste the formula here. We have, it will be around 60, 61 and two thirds. So 61.7 thousand dollars. And what about here, our years? We have different annual cash inflow. So we find our average. So our average here, $75,000. And what about the residual value? We don't consider residual value here. Why not? Because we are considering residual value, so we, we have lower depreciation. Because if we don't consider it, it, it here, our depreciation would be higher. Okay, so that's why our average is only the average of the net cash inflow. So on average, we have $75,000, the net cash inflow. So it will be lower probably because our, uh, our net cash inflow here is greater. Our depreciation is greater here on equipment number two. So oh, let's do it. Accounting rate of return, average in, uh, operating income less depreciation divided by initial investment, 3.33%. So now, if we consider the, all of our six years and pay back here, we stop considering it at the end of the fifth. And if we consider the depreciation, now the best one will be the equipment number, number one. So the accounting rate of return is very useful, especially when we compare it to the payback period. Which one is the best one? Depends on the analyst, depends on, on the professional. I am accountant, so I prefer the... Oh, it is not the payback analysis here, so sorry. Accounting rate of return analysis. Uh, your Excel file is... Right. So I am accountant, so I prefer the accounting rate of return. However, most companies, they do prefer payback period. But it's a matter of choices here. Okay, guys. So thank you so much. Subscribe our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. And like this video, like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarping. And if you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless.